in a crisis. We need to come together as a nation. We need the Congress to act and act now. If Congress and President Trump fail to act by the end of December, 12 million Americans will lose their unemployment benefits they rely on. Merry Christmas. The unemployment benefits allowing them to keep food on the table, to keep the lights on and the heat on, pay their bills. I think it's a view shared by literally everybody on both sides of the aisle. We can't leave without doing a COVID bill. The country needs it. We have an agreement that we need to do this. Uh, you've been following the discussions back and forth about how to put the package together. It remains my view that we ought to pass what we can agree on. And I think that's a pretty broad area that includes um, PPP, vaccine delivery, additional assistance to healthcare providers, and a variety of other things that are not uh, controversial. We wanted to start with the very latest in terms of the stimulus negotiation. Yeah, I mean, slight rays of hope that are beginning to emanate there. So I said slight, not <laughs> a lot. Uh, let's throw this up there on the screen from our friend of the show, Jeff Stein. So basically, the White House and the Senate GOP are asking to include a second round of stimulus payments at $600, not 12 at the urging of Senators Josh Hawley and Bernie Sanders, after both said that they would vote against it, and Hawley in particular lobbying President Trump, saying that you must have this in the bill or they are going to vote against it. So this is a major good piece of news. Both Hawley and Bernie had said that $600 is not enough. They're fighting for $1,200, and that's, you know, still on the table. However, what has come is that it has changed a little bit of the practice in what is going to happen within the bill itself. And as you can see there, what you're also seeing now is that the White House is trying to cut what the actual unemployment benefit would be, the increased unemployment benefit, to zero dollars in exchange for that one-time check. So listen, it's not all good news and there's still a <laughs> no, lot that's of financial disastrous news engineering right going on. In many cases, actually, for people who are unemployed, they would probably want the federal uh, unemployment plus up more than they would want that stimulus check. But overall, what well, the problem we also see within the unemployment is it would take that $180 billion down to $40 billion, and it would extend some of those federal unemployment programs. But that crucial benefit, that benefit is what dropped poverty. That plus the stimulus checks would be go down, and then the $300 a week that people had seen in the previously would begin to run out. So... That is where we stand currently. It's a very mixed bag. However, I think there's still a semi, like I said, you know, room for optimism because what happened is that McConnell yesterday came out with pretty, actually a pretty big statement saying, I am willing to drop uh, corporate liability shield, which he called his red line and has for seven months now yeah. in these negotiations, if the Democrats will drop state and local aid, which we can't agree on, and we pass the parts that we can't agree on, which is unemployment and stimulus checks. And look, I think we desperately need state and local aid. A lot of Republicans disagree for very stupid culture war reasons. Mm -hmm. But if you if this means you could actually pass checks and unemployment insurance, I think they should take it. But uh, that's not what the Democratic leader thinks. So well, yeah. and let's look at this. I mean, yeah. thinking about President Trump and his position, you'll recall before the election, he unilaterally yeah. shuffled money around to make sure that there was some level of plus up still in place right. for people. He, that was his position. He has long said that he supports another round of checks. So what the hell is going on with now you can either have a $600 check or you can have unemployment plus up? This is complete nonsense. And so, yeah, we had like a minute yesterday where you and I saw the news yeah, of, like, oh, like, they're going to get yeah. $600 checks. Like, 
oh my God, Bernie Sanders and Josh Hawley yeah, actually working did it. together yeah. actually did it. Yeah. And I still think that they have moved this in a better place because now things are in motion. Yeah. Deals are, you know, there's some horse trading going on. There's, you know, there's movement, whereas before things just seemed to be stuck. But then the next thing we know, oh, the White House is saying, well, you can have your $600 right. checks, but then we're not going to have any unemployment plus up. And keep in mind the broader context of, you know, there's a massive financial cliff just around the corner weeks away.